Right, guys. You're in for a special one here, or at least I hope I am. Uh, well, depending on how long the video is, it depends on how special the, the player is. But either way, uh, Wilt Chamberlain, it's a name that I, um, I, I am aware of. Look, I'm not going to say I'm a huge basketball fan, but I am aware of Wilt Chamberlain. And I feel like the only reason I am aware of him, because he did play back in the, what, 50s, something like that, um, is because he scored 100 points in a game. And there's a classic photo of him in the changing room, black and white, with a piece of paper with 100 on it. You know, he scored 100 points in a game. Kobe Bryant scored, what, 81? Uh, I feel like that's the second most points ever scored. And when you think about, you know, if Wilt Chamberlain could score 100 in a game, surely he would have scored 90. Surely he would have scored 80 or 70 or 60. Either way, we're going to get into some stats, I'm sure, through this little... Um, explanation type blurb type paragraph uh, that complex.com have done up for us but either way guys number eight on the list of the top 30 nba players of all time wilt chamberlain i'm i'm surprised he's not not number one to be fair i'm surprised he's not number one and to think the man who scored 100 points in a game is at number eight who's going to come in number seven i'm not going to scroll down i don't do that shit uh but we will be watching his highlights until we're impressed so I'm just hoping they have highlights. Uh, some of us are willing to die on the Wilt Chamberlain belongs on the NBA's Mount Rushmore Hill because nobody changed the game like Wilt the Stilt did. Well, he looks like a stilt. Look at him. He's huge. He's long. He's got 90-inch arms. Nobody. Seriously, they made rules to try and limit his dominance since he owns records no player now or in the future will ever come close to. Eclipsing. Who else is going to average 50.4 points per game? 50.4 points per game. For a season, like Wilt did in the 1961-62 season. Anyone else going to, going to average 22.9 rebounds per game during their career like Wilt did? 22.9 rebounds per game during his entire career. Was he just... Was he taller than everyone else? Really the only thing I can think of. Who will ever score 100 points in a game like Wilt did? No, no one. No one. Kobe did his best but couldn't quite get there. You're telling me someone's going to average more than 45.8 minutes per game like Wilt did during his 13 season in the NBA? So that's 45.8 minutes per game over his entire career when a full game is 48 minutes. The man doesn't rest. He doesn't stop. He's an absolute behemoth. What the fuck? And no soul will ever approach his 23,924 career rebounds. Tim Duncan, the best rebounder the game's seen since Moses Malone and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar finished 9,000 boards behind Chamberlain despite playing five more seasons than the legendary Lothario. I've got no idea what Lothario means, but that really does put it into context, right? Tim Duncan played five more seasons, averaged a double-double, let's be fair. I mean, he didn't average 22 rebounds per game, but he certainly averaged a double-double. And he finished 9,000 rebounds away from Wilt Chamberlain's 23,924. Incredible. Haters will counter that Wilt played against a bunch of sniffs. Sorry, not sniffs. Stiffs. <laughs> stiffs in the 60s and 70s. I mean... Was he like the? Jeez, I I hate to I put a put an athlete's name in this in the vicinity of of the dominance that um, this guy had. But I'm gonna say, was he the? Was he the Jim Brown of the NBA back in the day? It sounds as if he was. Haters will counter that Wilt played against a bunch of stiffs in the 60s and 70s when the idea that a 7-1 centre could be the most athletic player on the court was reserved for comic books. Seven foot one in the early 60s. But you can only dominate the competition in front of you, and the NBA did its best to rein in the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper, who rightfully earned a spot on the NBA's 75th anniversary squad when opponents couldn't. Okay, so they they did his best to rein in the Big Dipper. Now, how did they do that? Because of Chamberlain's domination, the league widened the lane. Widened the paint, so to speak. So he couldn't stand within the paint as effectively. I'm, that's what I'm taking from that. Outlawed players rebounding missed free throws before the ball touched the rim. Changed the definition of offensive goaltending. And forebode inbounds passes over the basket 
because it was basically an automatic alley oop to Wilt every single time. <laughs> Surely there was another seven footer. Surely. Jordan may be the GOAT. And the league most definitely altered some of its laws in his wake. But MJ never altered the rule book the way Chamberlain did. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Interesting. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume that the 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 the, the, the paint, the keyhole, the key was completely straight before Wilt Chamberlain changed it to on an angle. And if that's the truth, that is something I've just completely made up my own head. I deserve a pat on the back. If it's not the truth, let me know. If it is the truth, let me know. Either way, we're going to watch Wilt Chamberlain until we're impressed. Let's go. This is the first time I've ever seen this guy play. Unbelievable. I mean, I've, I've geez, I've, I've heard about that 100-point game for... for well, basically, two-thirds of my life. But um, I've never seen him play. So let's let's go. First first video, until we're impressed. Well, I'm impressed by the pants, to be fair. Uh, to be honest, I want to fucking cut it here. But I won't. He thought, and rightfully so, that he was the greatest basketball player that ever lived. Cheers, Bill. Oh, my. He was still... <laughs> he's seven foot one in 1961 apparently there was no seven footers in the league at that time surely there have to there has to be there have to be unless he was just more athletic than most seven footers maybe he was the kevin durant of the 60s there's no one that's come close to him in terms of just physical prowess and his athletic as any man who ever walked the earth. Right. Seven foot and as as athletic as any man who ever walked the earth. Now that is uh well that's a that's a that's a tight pair of shorts, but that's that that's impressive. You try guarding that on a basketball court sometime. This was more than just some big guy who dunked the basketball and uh, ran up and down the court. This was a true athlete. And his physical prowess was unbelievable. He's going to the basket. Deep, there's Will to block the shot. Oh, well, that's a fucking goaltend. <laughs> Surely that's prior to the uh, changing of the rules. Guys, I am impressed. I'm a fucking... I'm, I'm just totally in awe, to be fair. Uh, the man is... He's above and beyond what the NBA was back then. I need one more play. One more. Great defensive work. Tremendous ball handling. And a tremendous demonstration of speed and ability. And it's just hard for people to fathom what we talk about when we say what he did. Uh, he did things that I that just defy description. I, I can remember plays that he made that when I would talk about him, people said, no, he couldn't have done that. Fuck, he's and tall. Him, is he going to get the ball back? Great, great I hope so. Player. Oh, mate. Here comes Boston. Oh, this is some real nice foot. Look how long he is. Look at him. Will rebounds for a fast break. For the Eastern All-Stars as Will Chamberlain comes up with another rebound. Will sort of toying with uh, the opposition. <laughs> okay. No, I'm done. I'm done. He literally, he can palm the ball like Shaq. So that he can literally act as if it's basically like a, a pump fake, right? A pump fake down the field, but gives it to his op, his um, his uh, his guard there. That was incredible. I'm gonna watch that again and cut it off. Watch this. Watch this. This is ridiculous. He gets the board. Oh my god! How big was his hands? Will we ever know? I don't. Is he alive? I actually don't know. I think we need to look this up. He he was he 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 died October twelfth, nineteen ninety nine. I was eight years old. He was sixty three years old. Seven foot one, two hundred and seventy five pounds. Guys, this these videos are only meant to go as far as me being impressed. Now I was impressed in the blurb that we got, let alone these clips. He is incredible. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. 100 points. 45 points per game. 22 and a half rebounds per game. What, what, what the actual fuck?
where are we?